One meteorologist, Grace Anello, always smiling and happy <laughs> to uh, be reporting on some of these warmer temperatures for us. I was going to say, we keep talking about the holiday shopping season, but it sure isn't feeling too much like the holiday season outside. No, the fact that November is just three weeks, not November, excuse me, Thanksgiving is just three weeks away is incredible because we're still feeling like how we felt in the beginning of September. So big changes happening here and some more changes that I'm tracking this weekend, but more on that in just a minute. Take a look at our beautiful sky cameras right Right now, hardly a cloud in the sky and plenty of blue out there, so we are looking good. The Wave 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is completely dry and clear. Now, we're not picking up on any cloud cover, and we're also not picking up on rain. Both of those statistics are going to stay that way for the rest of the day. Well, let's talk about our temperatures because it's 1147 and we are already warm. We're at 69 degrees in Huntsville. Good afternoon to you. 68 in Decatur, 70 already in Coleman, and 69 over in the Shoals, so we are are on the warmer side of things already. Now just brace yourselves. I hate to be the one that has to tell you this, but our high temperature today in the upper 70s. Now the silver lining, you know I'm never going to let you go without a good part of the day, is that there is plenty of sunshine and we do have a slight breeze, so it really will be nice once you look out the window and you know we can all take a little bit of warm for a little while longer. By 7 p.m. our temperature will be in the low 70s and we will still have that slight breeze, so that's the first time this evening that we'll really start to feel pleasant. And then by 9 p.m. we have moved into the upper 60s. Now it's 10 p.m. before we're finally in the 50s. All right, now take a look at your weekend forecast, but don't go crazy just yet. We do have rain in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. The primary forcing for this rain is a cold front, so that's the reason why our Saturday temperature is just a touch warmer. But don't go canceling your plans just yet. I'm going to walk you through the forecast timing of the rain, and we're going to make a plan for your weekend. All right, this puts us Saturday at 8:30 in the morning, and our rain is starting in the shoals as an organized system. Now fast forward to 12:30, and it's just starting to reach over the corridor, but notice that it's weakened. And so the rain we're seeing is not as heavy, but it's also not as organized of a band. Now fast forward to 4 p.m. and we're starting to see a real scattered nature. So while all of us could see rain in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, not all of us will. It's very scattered there. So, and it's not as heavy rain as well. Now what is staying with us is the cloud cover and that's gonna stick around even into overnight and into first thing on Sunday. So what do we have? Well, we have strong rain for the shoals first thing in the morning through about lunchtime. Then we have scattered rain in the afternoon. And by the time you get to late lunchtime, well, most of us will be dry at that point. Cloudy but dry. All right, take a look at our fall foliage forecast. November 1st was our peak of the season, so just a few days ago. If you're looking to get some pictures of the reds and oranges before those leaves fall to the ground, well, you're going to need to go ahead and do that this week because by the time we get to next week, many of those leaves will be on the ground, especially with the rain coming. That's going to knock some of those stragglers off onto the floor as well. So it's heat and sunshine that stay with us Thursday and Friday. We do have that morning rain on Saturday following us into the afternoon. Now, Sunday we stay cloudy, but we ramp back up the heat and we also ramp back the clocks for daylight saving time. Now we are warm again on Monday and Tuesday with plenty of sun, but take a look at Wednesday. It's the mid 70s that are back in our forecast there.